Hi, I'm Monty. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. This episode is all about construction. We're going to talk about the wing assembly, landing gear, and as well as the stabilizers. So let's get into it. Here's what the fuselage looks like. Those four sticks behind the cockpit will help you align the wings. So while I'm waiting for the fuselage, I assemble the wings and use clamps to keep them together. Here is what the Mosquito looks like with the wings attached and also the engine nacelles. The fit was almost perfect with just a few places needing extra filler. And you could see in this uh, image here that uh, in the wing root, uh, there's a little bit of space and I use uh, Mr. Surfacer 500 as a filler to close the gaps between the wing and the fuselage. For this type of gap, I think Mr. Surfacer 500 is enough. If you haven't tried Mr. Surfacer, this is how I do it. I usually put a small blob on a, on a used material, like a flat material, and then I would use a brush or a toothpick to move it around onto the surface of the model. If you think the Surfacer is too thick, you can always cut it down using a lacquer thinner like the one I'm using right now from Mr. Hobby. The surface detail is okay. It's not awesome or great, but it has some nice stuff on it. But regardless, it's nice if we could preserve as much detail as possible. For that, I use a bit of acetone nail polish cleaner to wipe off the fillers. All I did was run a cotton bud lace with the cleaner and gently go over through the putty until they're gone. For certain types of gaps, I think this approach is a winner. The good thing about using nail polish cleaner is that it preserves the surface detail, like I said. Here's another look from a different angle. There's, um, there's plenty of details in this one, you could see that. And they're so tiny, that's why I don't wanna lose any of them. On the landing gear, I painted the struts and the wheel hubs using Alclad and the tires XF85 rubber black. I forgot to record any type of process on the construction of the landing gear, but uh, in essence the landing gear structure was a bit fiddly and um, the instruction wasn't really helping either. So um, the only way to do it was just to get some more reference uh, from Google. If you look at this diagram, the construction makes it almost impossible to get rid of the, the joint seam in the middle before any paint work because they designed the wheel as part of the struts assembly. So what I did was I had to paint the struts twice before the assembly and then afterwards after the assembly. That's when I added the you know the filler, sanded it down, smoothened it, and then I repainted using the Alclad paint. The canopy came in three pieces and I glued them using uh, extra thin cement. You know, um, you could use Tamiya or you could use uh, Mr. Cement, uh, whatever, but uh, they're extra thin. The trick in getting away with a clean bond is to have the cement um, touch the lower side of where the two parts join together and kind of let capillary action do the rest. That's all for now. My next episode will focus on the masking and painting process. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.